Okay, we are alive. Okay. Okay, I think we're live. Okay, yeah, we are definitely live. Alright. Here we go. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Other World Never Fear. For some of you that may not know, I did get my hands on the Smash Brothers 3DS Japanese only demo, and um, I've been playing this a lot. If you didn't see my previous videos, go check it out because um, I covered it, even though the stream it was kind of shitty because I kind of didn't really have too good of a setup. But you know, I, I hope I figured out all the problems. Um, we got uh, three people watching. Um, J A W X, wait, J A X K. Um, oh man, you got the demo? Yes, I definitely did. Um, Robot, what's going on, man? Thanks for the shout out. Um, from Brazil. Brazil, you dudes are insane, man. <laughs> you guys are everywhere, man. Um, shout outs to Brazil. Uh, I got love for all my Brazilians, man. You guys are a force to be reckoned with. Um, we're just gonna. So, as you guys saw from the title, we are going to be covering uh, the villager in this um, live stream because the thing is, the villager is a very different character. Like, he plays extremely, I, I wouldn't call it slow, and I, I wouldn't, it's just really weird. I mean, it's kind of interesting how Sakurai has so many characters in this franchise and managed to make them all feel unique, but um, the villager feels great to me, but there's so much to him that I want to get good at. I mean, now the thing that will automatically put people off about the villager is the fact that he doesn't really have anything that kind of hits really hard, like out of nowhere, you know? Um, um, Malachi Brown, what's going on, man? Um, Dominic Parenti, I love you, Etika. I love you too, man. Thanks for watching. Um, you got some more people. I found this channel from the Really Cute video, dude. I still, I still think there's a very good chance you could possibly be in the game. Let's just hope that it stays true. But um, anyway, now like I was saying, I really want to get efficient with the villager. And by the way, you guys, um, if you, how's the volume setting? Is everything good? If it's not, I can easily adjust that now, no problem. My music volume is too high? Okay, I can adjust that, no problem. Let me, let me hack it, maybe. How's that? Is that good? That could potentially be better, I think. I hope. So, um, now, of course, there's not that many characters in this demo. For those of you who don't know, I'm just going to break down the little bit of the demo that we did get in Japan. So, um, the demo only has five playable characters and only four palette swaps. So, you don't really have too much variety here. The characters are Mega Man, The Villager, Pikachu, Link, or Lunk and uh, Mega, excuse me, uh, Mario. So, out of all these characters, the only ones that I really am interested in are, of course, the newcomers, Mega Man and um, the Villager, with my preference towards the Villager, because, I mean, as much as I want to say the Villager's unique moves are the reason why I want to use him, the main reason is because he's so fucking adorable! He's such a cutie! Like, he just, he just, like, like, when he wins a match, he digs into the ground and pulls out, like, this little shell. Like, it's so fucking adorably, sickeningly cute that, I, I just fell in love with the villager right away. Of course, you guys already know who the main's gonna be! My name is Robin! Let's go, Robin! Air Thunder! Off Thunder! Go around! Let's move! But, um, until the full game comes out, I'm going to mess with the villager because his moves are so different, so unique. Um, the music is loud, the music sounds higher. Okay then, so I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit more. Um, let's see, how's this? Is that okay? I know the music is definitely gonna be louder than the microphone because I'm using a very shitty mic, my inbuilt webcam mic, so to speak, but I worked on a lot of these settings, so I mean, we should have a much smoother live stream than the last ones, I'm hoping, um, but the black guy was hype, Etika, it's 12.47 in the UK, 12.47 at night, I'm guessing, oh man, well, thank you for staying around if you decided to, um, how's the camera quality, is the webcam okay? I hope it is, I wasn't really too impressed with the C920, but yeah, so, um, please turn the volume down, um, I don't know that it okay, turn the music down just a bit. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit more, I guess. It must be really, really loud for you guys. Um, how's this? I'm, I'm turning it down really low in the, um... I'm turning it down really low in the stream, so uh, hopefully that does the job. Uh, what's with the camera? Yeah, I, I know, the, the volume... Okay, alright, good. So we got us a good volume now for the music. In terms of my mic, yeah... I ordered a new mic on Amazon, and it should be here by Friday, Saturday, the latest. So until I get that new mic, you guys are going to have to deal with the uh, shitty um, audio quality. And let me just make sure this is good. Hi, Etika. Just turn the volume off. Um, I found a new leak. I think it's a GIF. I'm glad I'm not sure. I can't look at that right now because you know, I'm hosting a stream. I'm going to turn the volume a little bit lower now because it seems like it's really, really loud for some reason. Let me, let me monitor it myself, actually. I'm going to see what's going on here. 
Give me a second. Let me monitor it myself. Okay, I think that's perfect. I like that. I think that's perfect. Alright, we're on a good note, guys. I kind of like music being relevant, I mean, present in my game, so I'm sorry if it's uh, a little bit too loud for you, but I like it like that. So, um, I think we're good. So, like you got, like I said in the comp, like I said in the title, um, you dudes can ask me any question about the villager, and I will get to answering them as soon as possible. Ask me any question about the, because you know, he's the only character I've been playing with this entire demo, so if you want to know anything specific about the villager, then let me know. But for now, I'm going to play as him. And of course, we're not going to do this any way else than level 9 CPU. And I'm going to set it to Mario because he's a bitch to fight right now. So um, we're going we're gonna to work with this like that. Uh, adopt me, Etika? I would, but you know, I... Well, well then again, I, I, I guess I wouldn't have a problem adopting a grown-ass man. Not to be a jerk, but have you considered streaming on Switch? Uh, yeah, yeah, off and on, off and on. I mean, a lot of my subscriber base is actually on YouTube, you know? So I mean, I want to get that good before... I do any Twitch streaming. Okay, let's go. So the villager, a very interesting, slowish sort of character. You have to really be careful with the way you plan his moves because the thing I noticed with him is that his frames take a long time to finish if he like lands on the ground or something. And it makes it kind of hard to time his moves correctly. So I guess for somebody playing, picking up the villager at first, it'll seem like he's a kind of like a, a lanky character. Not lanky, but he's like, it takes him a while to shield, you know? Like, for example, I'll show you guys an example right here. So if I do a if I do an attack, right? It takes him a while. He has to finish the entirety of the frame. Fuck! I just got fucking handled. Holy shit. Alright, Mario. Hold on, let me let me get good. A lot of his moves require a lot of timing. And if there's one thing that I'll suggest with the villager as well, tilts. Tilts are your best friend because his smashes are a bit on the slow side. His forward smash takes a long time to come out. Like, for example, this is his forward smash. It's a fucking bowling ball, but the damn thing takes like two seconds to come out. Maybe not two seconds, but you know, it takes a while. You cannot hit anyone with that quickly. It's not like Mario's where the smash comes out pretty much right away. And it leaves you open like a motherfucker. So, the villager does have his disbenefits, but um, he's really cute. He's really, really cute. And if you learn how to play well with his moves, he can be really rewarding as well. There we go! Timing, timing! Timing is so important with the villager. His tilts. There we go! Mmm! Level 9 computer, man. It, it's, it seems like it's more difficult in this game, but maybe it could be the controls. Like I said, leave all your questions for the villager or anything else with the demo um, for me now, and I'll see them once I finish um, once I finish this match. So, now another thing that I like to do with the villager is use the Lloyd Rocket. The recovery possibilities for that thing are insane. It's really kind of hilarious. The villager can come back pretty much from anywhere horizontal or vertical. Come on, bitch! There we go. So, um, alright, so, let me answer some questions for you guys. So, mm -hmm. look at how cute he is! Look at how adorable the villager is! He's a, he, he's a cutie. He's a real cutie. I mean, so, anyways, alright, so let's see some questions now. From scale of 1 to 10, how slow is the villager? Uh, if I had to rate him, I would give him probably like a, a 5, maybe like a 6.5. Because, I, I don't mean if there are some moves that he has which are like, whoa. Like, one thing that you'll notice with the villager when you play as him is that his movement in the air, even though he does get, he's really floaty, but he doesn't really have too much horizontal movement in the air. Like, so if I try to like, tilt towards the left, I'm like, while well, Mario can maybe go like this. The villager is going to go like this. So it makes it kind of tough to air pursue or to juggle people because most people move faster in the air or move, have more horizontal presence in the air, you know? So um, let's see. How big is the villager's sausage? I, I, didn't, I didn't get to see the villager's cock yet. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyone else hoping that the ESRB leak is... I just missed that one. You make him look K as fuck. Erica, show the percentage. Uh, Alright, I'll get the bottom screen in here as well, too. Um, the up B. The up B for the villager is insane. Like, it makes, it basically gives him balloons. So, um, let me, let me show you guys in person. Why am I, and I'll show the bottom screen as well, too. Let me, let me do that. Display both. 
ratio. We'll put that 75-25. Let's go Villager. Okay, so um, I'm going to showcase some of you guys the villagers' moves and how I think they're optimally used. Um, so, first off, we got recovery. The villagers' recovery is ridiculous. Look how far low I can go. Look how far low I can go on the stage. Look at that shit. I can do shit like this. That is crazy. Now, of course, there's some disbenefits to this kind of recovery. The villager's recovery is like... You see those two balloons, right? Now, while I'm using the balloons, they're, they're, um, they're able to be attacked. So, if somebody manages to hit one of the balloons while I'm using them, it'll pop one. We'll pop potentially both of them, and then the villager will just fall. If he only has one balloon, the recovery is automatically shit. Like, he pretty much can't come back from anything. So, you have to be kind of careful not to use the recovery in range of someone attacking you. Um, let's see. The, the horizontal recovery is ridiculous on this man as well, too, so... Look at this! Oh, yeah, oh, whoops. <laughs> um, another thing, when he uses the up B and comes off of it, he's totally in helpless state, so that's a thing. The side recovery is crazy! Look how far he goes! But he's helpless after that, too. So, while the villager does have incredible recovery options, you do get left helpless afterwards. So, and because he doesn't have good horizontal movement, right now, as you guys can see, I'm tilting the stick all the way to the right and the left, and he is still not able to move all that far in the air. So, if you do get caught off of a recovery, you're probably going to get hit because it's really easy to cast a villager with an air move because his horizontal movement is so bad, and his falling speed isn't that greatest either. It was actually playing with the villager that made me conclude the game feels slow, but in reality, the game isn't really all that slow, it's the villager who has kind of slow movement. You can do a quick fall, but even then, it's a little bit tough to get the timing right with the controls, and plus, eh, it's not even all that quick to be honest with you, but it's definitely a step up. One combo I like doing is using his, the villager's down A while on the ground, and it gives him some really good um, smashing capability since he doesn't really have much to smash with in the first place, that's reliable at least. So it's a good move. I'm trying to master doing it. Like, master doing it on the ground like that. And, um, so that was the recovery. I, I basically broke down the recovery for the villagers, so, um, I hope. Wait, why did Mario. Oh, I had that. But, um,. Uh, okay, so let's see some of the uh, comments now. Alright, so we have some um, band. Walk off, is that a walk off band? <laughs> no bands, just work around his strengths. Yeah, um, Villager is, B is Bobby's first Smash character over there. <laughs> God damn, yeah, he. I mean, the Villager's recovery. I mean, a lot of people are saying that it could be OP. And, you know, I can see what they mean by that, because he can come back basically from anywhere. Like, seeing the villager's recovery options, there's no way that as long as you don't get knocked out of radius of the field that you should not be able to recover. You can recover from anything like that. But, the thing is, it leaves you extremely vulnerable. And the villager, he can be comboed on really easily, so you have to be really conscious of how you recover. Um, also, let's see some more um, questions. What are the villager's smash attacks? Okay, I am going... The, I'm calling that thing the nipple missile. It's actually a damn good name for that's actually a really good name. You know what? Shout outs to um, shout outs to Victor Victor CT seven two seven. I am from now on going to call the villagers Lloyd Rocket the Nipple Missile. That's a perfect name. So um, now I'm going to showcase the villagers smash attacks so you guys can see exactly what he works with and why I don't feel like his smashes are too reliable unless you are a god with timing. I mean. Of course, all Smash moves in this game require good timing, but the Villager is totally, totally one of the, mo one of the most demanding timing characters, because here are his Smash moves. Here, if Mario doesn't leave me the fuck alone first... Alright, so his Smash moves are this up A. It hits you while you're on the ground, but it doesn't hit both sides. It only hits one, and it hits where he's facing, so that's his Smash. And um, you would think it would be really easy to hit with that, but it's actually somewhat difficult. I don't know if it's the frame. The frames don't really pick, take up too much space around him, but it's in the air that they really take off. So, of course, that's typical with Smash moves in the air. Now, his down smash is this, the shovel. I think this is one of the villagers' fastest Smash moves. I think, no, I fuck that. I think it is his fastest Smash move because you can just bust it out, like, as soon as you come out of a roll. Boom. There we go. Out of a roll, boom. You see? And it's it looks really... 
It looks really good, but I mean, the characters usually break out of it right away, but then again, it's the CPU playing, and I think the CPU has maximum button mashing when they um, play, so I guess when you're using a, against a human player, it'll be a lot more practical to do the whole dig move. Um, let's see, so another smash the villager has, the side one, which I think is the worst one out of them all because it is so goddamn slow. It takes a while to come out, like usually smash moves come out the second you release, his doesn't. As soon as you release it, watch what happens. That second for the bowling ball to come out, or rather not even for the bowling ball to come out, but for him to actually lift the bowling ball, it's not instant. And because of that, if you're playing against a character who has some fast smash output, like Mario for example, he will always, always outspeed you with his smash move, his forward smash, if you both do it at the same time, no matter what. No matter what. I'm playing with the CPU on level 1, that's why he's not doing anything, but I mean, yeah, the, the smash isn't really reliable. You have to be really good with the timing. And so a typical combo that some people I saw were suggesting were to use the down smash and then to drop the bowling ball on his fucking head. But if they manage to break out, and this is a level 1 computer that broke out of that right away, even though we are only at 5%. I think the down smash is a little bit too easy to break out because you need that opportunity to drop the bowling ball on your head. But one interesting, um, this, these matches, I can't change the time in a match. So because of that, it's it's not really going to be um, practical for me to show off all the moves in one game. But I'm just going to keep going to another game. Let's do some more questions. Didn't they, didn't they get rid of a lot of time between, I mean, didn't they get rid of a lot of lag between moves and such? Now the thing is, I only play a couple of characters, choice characters, and I'm really good with them. But I mean, I, I did get a chance to play around with uh, Mario and Link, Lunk, and um, I feel like Mario and Link aren't really slow in this. Like, they, they actually move pretty damn quick. Link especially, I think he got some really great buffs in this um, game, so I'm thinking he's going to be a really practical character. One of the greatest buffs I think he got, excuse me, one of the greatest buffs he got it's definitely his dash attack because he jumps over a lot of standard projectiles. It's a really practical move, man. Um, show the villagers tree move. Oh man! All right, that's that's a whole another story, man. But um, all right, so what we're going to do now? I'm going to show you guys some more about the villagers smash moves. And once we get that out of the way, then I'll probably go into the special moves. So um, let's do this again. There's more to that bowling ball and that forward smash, man. I mean. I really want to get I really want to get good with the timing, but it's just tough because when you're playing against a level nine computer, it's kind of hard to get that going. You know, I I want to get the combo of the down smash with the with the forward, but it's not really too practical when playing against level nine computer. Even at level nine, if you're at like ninety percent, the computer still manages to break out within a second, so you can't even get the bowling ball out because it has that slight amount of lag after the output. Look at that. That amount of time that it takes for him to actually drop the bowling ball, it 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 doesn't it doesn't hit you in that time period. So it's kind of tough to work with that, but I'm going to be trying. So now the the thing that's interesting about the bowling ball move though is the fact that it drops off the stage. It can drop infinitely, infinitely. So I don't know how practical this could be. Maybe I could see it maybe being potentially used as some form of recovery or maybe as edge guarding. But edge guarding, I don't think it's going to be too practical of a thing in this game because recovery is so fucking insane. So, I don't see the practicality of having the bowling ball move drop off like that, but it goes all the way down. I wish I could like, show you that it really goes all the way down, but you have to take my word for it. It definitely does. Now, um, the other smashes that he has. So, this is his up, that's his side, and this is his down. So, um, I think the villager's smash moves aren't where he shines, though. The true place where the villager is comfortable is definitely his tilts, because the tilts. I don't know why, but they, they seem a lot more practical to me. I mean, the smash moves are never really too practical. You don't want to be throwing those out, especially the forward one as it is. But um, the smash moves are definitely shadowed by the um, tilts. Now, I'm going to show you guys the ground tilts so you guys can see exactly what the villager is working with. Um, in terms of ground tilts, the villager has this umbrella, which is it comes out really fast. Like The umbrella has a really quick snap attack, but the problem with it is that it leaves you vulnerable after the fact. And I'm holding down the shield button now after I do it. It takes a while for the shield to come up. The villager has a bad case of this kind of lag, where after he does a move, the shield does not come up fast enough. He always has some frames to go through before he finishes off the, um, the move and then can go into a shield. So you have to be really careful when throwing out some moves with the villager because you can get punished really easy. Once forward smash, you'll get punished from here to kingdom come. The forward tilt, not as bad. But 
Actually, no, the forward tilt, you can definitely get punished for that. You definitely only need to use the forward tilt if you're in an opportunity where you know you can get out a quick strike. But um, you don't want to just throw it out there, like hoping that it hits. You don't want that shit to whip. Because if the forward tilt whiffs, then you're open. And in a competitive uh, environment, somebody will definitely take advantage of that. So you got to be careful when using that move. My favorite tilt that the villager has, though, is the up tilt. And I just accidentally chose... I just accidentally chose a match with items in. So let's take a look at um, some more of what the comments are saying right now. Um, we're going to leave this match because I don't want items involved. Show some throws, please. You're damn sure right. I will definitely show you guys some throws. Um, so Redcoin Media. Shout out to Redcoin Media. That guy has been a very good supporter of my channel. I'm Etika. When are you going to announce the five other people to play with you in Smash? I will definitely be doing that this month at some point. I'm probably going to be doing that um, maybe by the end of September, only because I don't want to put it out there and then, you know, people have to wait. I, I, unfortunately, that was the case because the game got delayed to the, um, the autumn, but I was originally planning to have that whole group play with me in the summertime, and it just didn't work out because the game got delayed. But I mean, I will be announcing the people once again to play with me in um, probably by like maybe September 25th. And if any of those people aren't really active at that time, I'll give them a little bit of time. And if they don't respond, then I'll be choosing some new people to play the game with me when it comes out here in America. So um, don't worry about that. I'm definitely on top of that. I didn't forget about that, man. Thanks. If anything, thanks for reminding me. Um, so can you adopt? Hey, Etika, please say hi to me. Kyogre102, what's going on, man? Um, I know it's my destiny. Etika, come on, use Mega Man. I will use Mega Man eventually. But right now, this is a villager breakdown. This is a villager, you know? So, um, excuse me, um, Moto... Moto Vito? Um, now, Edgar, show me some good shit. All right, I'll, I'll go against the computer again at level 9 and show you guys what I can do. Um, so, Zoe Roberts Rogers says, Dude, what's up? I've been seeing your videos for a while, and I always wanted to say that you are really funny, and I want to see more of your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Who will you main? Robin still? Robin is the main, and that is the way it's going to be. Even if Ridley is revealed, if he's, if he's somehow in the game, he's going to be a fun second, but Robin will always be the main. Um... Did Darja, did Darja die next episode? I don't know. Did she? I don't know. Um, Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend. <laughs> Ridley grabbed Pikachu, he grabbed him. Yes, he, does, he certainly did. Well, depending on opinion, I suppose. But um, anyways, okay, so back to the villager now. So, um, now tilts. The forward tilt, as I just demonstrated, is an option to get out a quick hit if you really need it. But don't throw it out there and expect... Don't whiff it. Don't whiff the goddamn umbrella. Use that very sparing. Um, the, the tilt that I think you can definitely benefit the most from though is the up tilt well, in certain situations because the great thing about the villager's up tilt is that first off, getting this out the way, it hits you even if you're on the ground standing right in front of the villager, even if you're a little bit of a distance away. The up tilt is great because it has two hits and the hits are back to back. So if someone gets hit by the first, they're definitely probably going to get hit by the second. Look at that. And it knocks you up pretty high too. That was a hit from zero percent, and it definitely gets some smash. It, the 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 up tilt has smash potential in ranges beyond hundred percent. You can definitely kill somebody with that. Um, the thing I love about it is that it makes it easy to combo into the up tilt in the air. But I'm not going to showcase that right now. But the the up tilt on the ground is definitely practical. You can bust this out, and you can get two consistent hits. So even if they do block the first one. Usually, they're going to have to keep the shield up to get the second one. They won't be able to roll out of the first one. So, it, it's really a nice option if you want to get some air um, juggles on air. Even though it's kind of hard to juggle with the villager. But, uh, I, I like the up tilt. It's a really good option. So, um, now, the down tilt is this move where he pulls something out of the ground. To be honest, it's a little bit lackluster. I haven't really seen too much use for it. Um, there's a lot of other moves that the villager has which I feel are a lot more practical. But, the down tilt is not one of them. I mean, maybe if you could use it if you're on the ground like that, but I mean, most people usually roll off, so it's no big deal. I mean, it's no, it's no, it's not really that practical there. Um, let's see, what else does the builder have? So he has the up tilt, side tilt, down tilt. All right, so now I guess I might as well show off the air tilt. So here's where the villager I feel you're really going to have to get good with in order to use the villager effectively because his tilts are ridiculous. So um, in the air especially. So. The thing is, it's kind of hard to juggle with the villager because his horizontal movement in the air is balls. So, what you're going to have to do is um, kind of set up the situation to work for you. Kind of plan around how the character's going to move and then take advantage accordingly. Now, the thing is, the villager's up tilt. It's a very weird move because it, it uses 
like I don't know what those are, onions or rutabagas, I don't know. But um, as you guys can see here, he can sometimes drop out two. He can sometimes, like right now he has two of them. He can sometimes drop out three. He has three of them. Sometimes he drops out one. It all depends. And you can do these twice in the air with one jump. But um, you see, you can do, you, sometimes you put out one, two, or three. The more you put out, the more powerful the move will be. So while some of you might be saying that's a little bit of, uh, of a luck chance, and you know, here at Smallville, we don't like luck chance, but I mean, it's still very practical. Even with one of them, I've knocked away people into the danger zone with no problem. You just have to time it right, because the thing is, as you guys saw, when he puts the, the, the rutabagas or whatever, when he puts the fucking tomato, <laughs> it's like, but when he puts the shit up, right, he holds it for a little bit, and then he puts it away. Now, if you manage to use it, and snap it at the exact moment, kind of like Luigi's up smash or whatever like that. If you manage to get it at the right moment, like when he, as soon as he pulls it out, it'll be a meteor smash no matter how many he has. But if he has three of them and you pull it out at the right moment, you have to pull it, like, the thing is, if you want to smash someone with that, <laughs> you want to smash someone with that and to knock them away, you have to pull it out right in front of them. Kind of like, you know, flashing somebody on the street. You have to pull it out right in front of them and shock the shit out of them and that'll really knock them away. Um, let's see some more comments though. Where, um, Villager is not OP, you professional semen eater. Well, damn, how did you know that was my job? <laughs> have you been researching me? <laughs> anyway, so, um, now, the thing is, you have to kind of plan the tilts in the air really well. Because you see, now, I, let me, I wish I had the training mode in here so I could kind of like show you guys at a higher percentage what this thing can do. But um, the same goes for the um, the up tilts and the down tilts. Hello. 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 I'm streaming. Hello. Um, Hello. Go ahead. Hello. 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 Yeah. So, anyways, with the tilts, you kind of have to be a little bit careful with these because he can still hit somebody with them, even if he doesn't pull it out at the right moment. But it's not going to be a meteor smash. It's just going to be a regular hit. And you can tell that by this. Um, that was a regular hit. But this is going to be a meteor. If I can get it right, there we go. I think that was a meteor. I, I, I wish I could get the percentages up, but um, yeah. You just have to make sure that if you pull out the up tilts or the down tilts, you hit it at the exact moment that the character um, comes to contact with you. Because if you don't, it's not going to be a strong hit, and you're going to miss your chance, like there. Now, the great thing about them, come on. Actually, to be honest, they're a little bit tough to hit. I mean, as I'm using the villager right now. Because of that horrible horizontal movement, you're going to have to really plan well in the air with those. As with all the villagers moves. You see? You can easily whiff it like that. Because characters that have good horizontal air movement, you're not going to have an easy time doing this. So, um, there we go. That was the meteor, I think. Tough to hit it. It's really tough to hit it. But I usually don't rely on the up tilt or the down tilt for my meteor smashes because the villager has another tool in his arsenal which performs way better than that. And that's his side tilts. Now, some of you might be saying his side tilt in the air is a little bit lackluster because it all—it pretty much shoots a projectile that does three percent damage, and it's not really too—it's it's not really too good. I mean, right now Mario's at one hundred and thirty-nine percent HP, and um, not HP but percentage. He's at one hundred thirty-nine percent, and um, the side tilt is not really doing much except for that one time. Now, if you manage to hit the side tilt off, and their character is right next to you, it becomes a meteor smash. And the great thing about this is the fact that if you manage to get the timing right, usually it's one second or maybe like a half second after you release the button for it, then he shoots it out. So it's not instantaneous. But um, once he shoots it out, like as you see there, it was a regular hit. Meteor. You see? You have to make sure that you hit that side A at the perfect time in the air, or else it's not going to knock him away. Like, even if I hit it right now. See, it's not going to meteor him, but if I do it right in his fucking face, it meteors. You see, that's what I use to finish people off, and that's the majority of my aerial pursuit when I use the villager, because if you manage to get that fucking thing off at the right time, boom, it's an instantaneous meteor, and you could really use it for follow-up, and one thing that you can also use for is the, um, well, actually, no, I mean, I don't know, I mean, the, you can also use the up tilt on the ground, so up tilt and then jump and slingshot, but uh, I'm still experimenting with the viability of these strategies. I'm, I'm really trying to get the hang of the villager. As you guys have seen, I've not even talked about his special moves yet. I'm just talking about the tilts, um, and the smashes aren't even being relied upon. So um, let's see some more comments. New Megas, Attica, breakdown please. Yes, you guys will definitely be getting a breakdown of those later on. 
right now I'm just focused on the Smash stuff. I have some really big stuff happening for me in a few days, so, well not a few days, but you know, by like Friday or Saturday, so I'm kind of trying to focus on those, but trust me, the content will go back to its regular scheduling. I know the Fire Emblem people are ready to tear my penis off, but don't worry, all that will be coming back soon. Um, also, guys, I didn't want this stream to be too long because it's actually one of my friend's birthdays today, so I gotta go out and run and talk to them, but I wanted this to be a live stream so I could tell you guys more about my experience with the villager rather than just make a video on it because I want to hear some of your questions. So let's see. So um Ridley I feel is 99% confirmed. Uh I wouldn't say that, but I mean he's definitely got a chance in there. Um new Mega Zetica, I know about the new Mega Pokemon. I've seen the Mega Sharpedo, Mega Camera up. To be honest, a little bit lackluster. I thought they would have looked a little cooler. But maybe that's because my expectations were high because I saw some really sick fan art of potential um, Mega Evolutions for Sharpedo. Like there was this one where he was black, like darker, and it, it was sick. But um, that didn't turn out to be the case. So I'm a little bit salty about that. But the design still look cool. Camerot looks like a fucking walking volcano, man. He's crazy. Uh, thanks, Etika. You rock. Do you have Instagram? No, I don't. Um, Etika, do a live stream on the search of Ridley. Do the live stream on Switcher really for the release of Smash Bros. 4. When the game comes out on Friday, I'll be playing it nonstop, so you guys will definitely see if I find Ruby in the game. Um, fuck your friend. Nah, he, I don't think he would like that. Uh, fight Mega Man. Okay, I'll fight Mega Man. Uh, Jason, Jason, thank you for the suggestion. Um, so I'm going to fight Mega Man at level 9 now, and we'll see just how well I can fare using some of the strategies that I've developed with Le Village. Okay, so uh, let's, let's, uh, let's go. Rockman. Um, the villager skin I like is the default because all the other ones look weird to me. They're not as cute. Charger costume for Lucina confirmed. That would be amazing. I mean, anyways, so let's go. Etika use the Shrek code. You dudes, all right. I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you guys some props. You definitely trolled the shit out of me last stream. Like I was literally looking around for Lanky Kong. The shit was hilarious watching it. Like being like actually remembering how I felt in that it wasn't funny but it was hilarious watching it so you know you definitely you definitely got me there it's hilarious to watch thank you for this thing so um let me do my thing against this super fighting robot um another thing that you gotta rely on a lot with the villager is his uh is his um his regular a move because it comes out really fast and you can shield from it really quickly so you know it's very practical oh there we go and his grab the villager's grab someone asked me to talk about those I'll, wrap, I'll use those to wrap this segment up later on, but um, the villager's grabs are so impractical, man. They're really impractical. They come out really slow, and they have a lot of um, wait time after you finish the move, so you kind of have to... You know, at least, okay, let me focus here. Let me focus here. Let me do some fancy shit. Give me that shit. There we go. Lloyd. There we go. Let go. Come on. Okay, so we're at the same percent right now. Damn. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Excellent. There we go. One thing that I thought was that you could play multiplayer online with this demo, but you can't. I was really hoping I could be able to fight, like, Relax the Lax or Filthy or whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, guys, I managed to fix the stream. Um, the audio should be fine for you guys now. Oh, shit, you can still... The villager's pickup skill doesn't work with that. I gotta kill this guy now. There we go. I shouldn't have, you know, I mean... I shoot him a bowling ball, and then I just use it to finish him off. I mean, it, it depends. Like, it depends sometimes. You gotta just be lucky with getting that finish. There we go. Mm. Come on. Uh oh. And one thing with the controls as well, this stick, you kind of got to get used to it. Um, if you want to do a short hop, it's a little bit difficult for me, but that just, could just be me. I'm not really too good with using the stick for jumping. And yeah, yeah, I use my analog stick for jumping. I know that limits some potential moves, but it's what's comfortable for me. But um, it's, it's a little bit tough to get used to it, because a, a short hop, you got to really kind of tap it a little bit, not too much. But um, with, with enough playing, eventually I'll get used to it. Um, I've been playing this all day, non-stop, and there's people that can vouch for that for me. So um, yeah, it, it, it's pretty serious right now. 
Okay, Etika, you can pocket anything, just letting you know. So when Mega Man or Mario Fireball, Mega Man can charge you, pocket it with a combo, and use his blast against them. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, Mega um, the villager's pocket ability is fucking insane, man. If anything, I want to see if you can pocket the villager's tree themselves. Because um, if that was the case, then just fuck me right there. And now I'm going to showcase the villager's tree move. I'm a little bit mixed about it. It's definitely practical in some cases, but it's going to require a lot of studying. It's kind of like, like, you know, a lot of things in this game, these new characters are going to require so much studying, getting used to them, because they work so differently from other Smash mechanics. It's just going to take more time. I mean, I've only had a day with this guy. So... Okay, I took her Lloyd Rocket. Um, no, I didn't. I thought I did. Come on. But um, I'm going to make multiple videos on this until the game comes out. Then I won't really give a shit about a villager because, you know, Robin will be there. But, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm liking the villager a lot. He's a cool character. And perhaps maybe I'll play him regularly once the game does come out officially. And one thing I also heard was the fact that they were going to do a eShop demo for the English release of the game. But uh, we didn't really hear much word on that. Sakurai's Pick of the Day detailed that there could be another, um, there could be a demo for the English region. But... I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I mean, I don't know. I guess it could, but I don't know why he's being so tight with about it. No date or anything. There we go. Now I'm going to use the slingshot. Never mind. Really kind of to aim that shit. Fuck. Oh, I grow both trees? Okay, the villager grows both trees when... Holy shit. I can grow opponent's trees as well as my own at the same time. Um, one thing that I do kind of like, to be honest with you, is the villager's axe move. Because when he pulls the tree out, the villager also pulls out an axe whenever you press the down special. So I grow the tree now, and I pull out the axe, but I can use the axe as a standalone attack. Which is really cool, to be honest with you. Because it comes out really fast. And I use the Lloyd to recover. Excuse me, the nipple missile. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, very interesting. I tried to pocket the tree, but it disappeared. So I'm thinking maybe only one tree can be on the field at the same time. Because when both of them grew, one of them disappeared. So I'm, I'm guessing you can't have two trees out at the same time. That'd be kind of sad if I was a good But, um, okay, so let's see. More comments. We didn't leave your more. Etika, check out the Lucina costume. It's real. You know what? I think I'm definitely going to probably be moving things to Twitch because you can't post links in the YouTube um, live stream chat, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. Um, I already enough that you know, Lucas stream frozen. Well, excuse me. Uh, stream doesn't look frozen to me. But um, all right, guys. So this was the first in my series on the villager. I'm going to be doing more coverage on this. So. I'll be reading the comments of this video to check out the questions that you guys have, and I'm going to be making some videos on this in general, so make sure you leave all your concerns in the comment section. And um, for now, I'm going to end this. This is a little bit short-lived, but I, I, got, I got some business to attend to. But uh, I'll be making some streams regularly now, now that I kind of got the logistics of the whole thing down packed. You know, the audio shit was fucked up from before. You know, even now, my audio wasn't crisp, but at least for the game, it's good. And I know how to adjust volume, too. See, I'm actually doing it. I'm becoming a streamer, you know? Yeah, I, I feel really good about that. I can't believe I've been on YouTube for over a year now, and I haven't learned how to watch it. This shit is bad. But, um, alright guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay tuned. The regular content will be commencing after the whole Smash Brothers thing on Friday. It's been the biggest week of my YouTube career. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I am... Um, going to get me some grub because I'm starving, and I'll be making some more streams later on, but uh, I think this went pretty damn well. Um, let me know what you thought about the quality as well, too, because I've been experimenting a lot with that. I don't know if the webcam is as clean as I wanted it to be, but hey, I'll find out eventually.